Welcome Leo, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Today I will be doing your general reading for May 2021, so let's get started. First things first, I will be asking the angels for three romance cards here. So let's see what they have for you. All right, let's see. What do you have for Leo for May 2021? Oh, okay. Two more cards. Okay, Leo, wow, wow, okay. You have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so Leo, you definitely may be dealing with somebody new here, okay? And if you don't already know this person, someone new may be coming your way. And they are going to make you feel super like, oh my gosh, like I'm so attracted to this person type of energy. Um, this could potentially be true love, guys, okay? But let's take a further look here using the tarot. You may have already met this person, Leo, okay? Let's see what this is all about. And before I even continue, I totally forgot to turn on your candle. So, one second. Here we go. Let's see. All right. What happened in the recent past for the sign of Leo, please? Three cards. Wow, this is powerful, guys. This is powerful here. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in their chart or a Pisces. Okay, doesn't have to be. They can have this in their chart. You can have maybe even a Taurus. I don't know if you have this in your chart or not, but you have the Death card with the Wheel of Fortune and the Moon card. Hmm. In the recent past, I see that old cycles ended here. Something ended, okay? And this doesn't have to be a relationship, guys. This can simply mean like old ways of being or old ways of thinking. Somebody, something or some, okay. Something came here to an end, okay? Whether that's thoughts, a relationship, um, you know, habits, um, anything, a job, anything, okay? And I feel like you you had a rebirth here in the recent past, Leo. You've been going through some type of transformation or rebirth here, okay? And this is working out in your favor. Now, with the moon card here, I feel like there might be something you're not seeing, Leo. Or there might be something that's kind of like... Your intuition may have been telling you something here in the recent past. Let's see what this is all about, okay? See, clarify the death card. Recent past for the sign of Leo. Clarify the death card, please, for the sign of Leo. Recent past. Why is the death card here? Okay, the lovers. Okay, some of you may have ended something when it comes to a connection or you had a rebirth and you met someone that's totally like switched your switch if that makes any sense could have been a gemini capricorn virgo taurus okay um i'm feeling like okay i'm getting to the story some of you decided to end a connection because you felt like you were being breadcrumbed all right or you didn't want to breadcrumb this person as bad as that sounds but for others of you maybe you recently like somebody here kind of like transformed you like an individual or maybe a job or some type of offer something here transformed you all right let's clarify what this moon card is about all 
Um, all Spirit is also telling me, wow, like I've never felt a love like this before. This is so infinite. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Why is this new card here? Maybe some test. Okay, Five of Swords. So in the recent past, you may have thought this person was hiding something from you. Sneaky energy here, holding back. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. You may have felt, yeah. I see, I'm, um, Justice, Tower card, Seven of Swords. So definitely maybe shit hit the fan here because something was exposed or something said something, Leo. Okay. Or this, this can just simply be that you're thinking this. You're thinking that maybe this person, I can't trust this person. What if this person hurts me? What if this person's hiding something from me? Like, am I doing the right thing? Am I just scared? Or is this my intuition talking to me? Okay. Let's see. Let's take a look at your current energies. All right, current energies for the sign of Leo, please. Current energies for the sign of Leo. Three cards. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords again. Eight of Cups. One more card. Current energies for the sign of Leo. Leo, you walked away from something. Okay, okay. <sighs> so, you have the Four of Cups here with the King of Wands and the Hierophant. Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, but I'm also seeing air, so it can be any sign. Look, so some of you may actually be getting going through a divorce okay if not then you may ha you may have gone through some type of separation okay because you're not sure if you can trust this person you're not sure maybe there's a lot of passion in this connection a lot of attraction but you're not sure if this is commitment potential i guess or long-term potential with the seven of swords the eight of cups a lot of gemini libra aquarius energy pisces cancer scorpio you're not seeing something clearly, right? You're confused, Leo. You're confused about something at this time. It's kind of like you're maybe you're stuck at a crossroads. Maybe you're stuck between two lovers. Maybe you don't maybe you feel like this person is I see that you're walking away from something because you don't know what to do. At least you're taking a time out for the time being. Maybe this person did something to upset you or they or they they you found out something about them that you didn't really like so it kind of forced you to walk away or take a pause in the situation because you're not sure what to do you, you can't see the situation clearly at this time but let's clarify i mean the passion is there the attraction is there okay i can see that 100 percent. but i feel like there's some trust issues going on here or some maybe some insecurity or maybe something wrong in that area okay please clarify here energies current energy says okay 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 yeah all right so you guys got an argument or disagreement okay and if that's not the case then maybe you guys are just weren't seeing eye to eye oh i see communication coming in here okay you might have walked away from the situation leo but guess what ten of swords in reverse you guys will either communicate again or see each other again. This is not over, okay? I know some of you don't want to hear that. Some of you just may feel like you can't trust this person, or this person may feel like they can't trust you, Leo. Knight of Wands in reverse. I'm sorry. Wow, why did I say the Knight of Wands? Yeah, somebody may have player-like tendencies here, but the Queen of Wands in reverse, like maybe this person feels like they can't trust you. Um, maybe you feel like you can't trust them, so you're taking the time out here with the Four of Swords. But look what's coming your way. You have the Six of Cups here. Five of Wands and the Eight of Wands. I feel like you don't want to argue with this person. You're tired of the conflict. You're tired of the drama. You don't want... You're tired of maybe not seeing eye to eye with this person. But you're nostalgic, Leo. And if this is not you, this person misses you. But they're scared. Or you're scared to reach out. Maybe because you're, you don't want to have problems. Or you don't want drama. Or you don't want, you know... I'm picking up that energy here, but I feel like you guys are missing each other. And if this is not you, if you're not missing this person, this person's missing you. Okay, they're missing you. They're thinking about the times you guys shared. Um, I'm feeling soulmate energy here. Eight of Wands, communication, guys. There's communication coming. If there has, if you guys haven't been communicating, or if it hasn't been like that, like I guess 
passionate or anything like that. I see it getting, I see it picking up here. You guys are going to communicate. <sighs> Give me one more card. Oh, the fool wanted to come out. Somebody's going to take a risk here to reach out. One second. Oh, Lord. Okay. Why is the death card here? Oh, wow. Okay, these cards came out again, so. The Empress with the death card, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Now, like I said, I feel like some of you, if you're not taking it, I feel like you're taking a time out from this person, or this person's taking out some time for themselves at this time. Uh, so I feel like the situation right now is kind of like at pause, or maybe you feel like it's over, but honestly, guys, I feel somebody here is very wise also somebody you may find out somebody's pregnant if that's not the case um you may just take precautions if you're not trying to get pregnant okay or yeah but if that's not the case this is someone who's been through a lot leo okay um i'm, I'm feeling taurus aries energy scorpio uh can be any sign but this is someone who's maybe you're you're taking a time out from someone you're taking a time out from this connection maybe it's so intense that you're like okay fuck like let me just take some time to like really reflect on this because like i really like this person i, I mean i see union here union maybe after this communication you guys might decide to meet up okay no longer feeling stuck hangman in reverse ten of wands in reverse the hair font maybe yeah like i said somebody here can't walk away leo is this you or the person you're dealing with somebody here can't walk away this might even be like a twin flame energy okay But it's like somebody's unsure if somebody can be trusted. And I feel like maybe you guys had a disagreement or an argument or not seeing eye to eye on something or not agreeing on something. I see potential here, guys. I do. But maybe just you guys need a time out, okay? Near future for the sign of Leo. Also, like I said, you may be dealing with a legal situation, divorce, maybe um, maybe families involved in the situation, okay? Take care of your health, Leo. Okay, four source, take some time out if you need it. If you've, if you've been feeling drained or maybe this person that you're dealing with is doing that. In your future for Leo, please. Hold on one second. Yeah, there's a union coming in. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, if you've been having conflict with this person, look at this. The lovers under the deck. Passion. A lot of passion. Okay. Um, you guys might be a little bit closed off here in the near future. Some of you. Okay. Three of Cups here. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it's in reverse. Some of you may not have. You might start to feel not very energetic to go out and sometime during may okay that was weird i heard a noise but okay anyways um you you might it started to rain i believe sorry guys like the rain is distracting me right now yeah some of you might be feeling sad okay or the person you're dealing with has been feeling sad but anyways three of cups here in reverse i feel like if there was a third party there's, there's no that that's no longer going to be an issue here in the near future um, you know, if you guys have just been dating and keeping your op options open, I feel like, you know, somebody here is going to like, it sounds bad, but get rid of a third party. Okay. Like not deal with more people, I guess. Guys, you have the two of cups, the three of pentacles and the lovers. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini energy here. Okay passionate loving union in the near future if you're completely single guys i see a water or a fire no sorry water water sign pisces cancer scorpio or a maybe even a little bit of an earth energy and or gemini okay maybe libra as well scorpio but i feel like if you if okay if 
this is going to resonate with those who are dealing with somebody right now and they want to come back to this person or reconcile or work things out okay because i see you guys collaborating here three of pentacles i see you guys working as a team to get through whatever it is that happened disagreement argument misunderstanding whatever i see you guys working out coming together okay so i feel like things will be cleared up here there's love here Okay, there's love here for sure, no doubt about it. But maybe you guys have been having a hard time working together, coming, um, being on the same page, let's put it that way. But if you're completely single, I do see a love offer coming towards you. Pay attention to, um, I know this is a May reading, but pay attention to like May 6th, May 8th, okay? Maybe the 7th, May, May 13th, or... I'm also hearing um, June might be important for you. June, July, or August, okay? Sometime in the summer, okay? So be, pay attention. If you're completely single, not dealing with anyone, I feel like you're going to meet someone that's going to really, like, turn you on here in the summer, okay? So, yeah, guys, listen to your intuition. Again, Eight of Wands, wow. Knight of Cups, yes. Communication, communication, a love offer. This person may give you flowers. You may give flowers to this person, okay, or a gift. Communication coming in, but just listen to your intuition, okay, Leo? Give me an outcome card for the sign of Leo, please. Outcome card for the sign of Leo. King of Pentacles. You might be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, or you may have this in your chart. Oh. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be working on something here. Money looks good, by the way. Okay, money looks good. If you're thinking about, oh, the Fool card, give me one more. You're going to take a risk, Leo. And if this is not you, the person that you're dealing with is going to take a risk with you. Okay. The Empress again. Ooh, yes. Okay. Ace of Swords communication. Clear communication coming in here in May. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. A decision will be made. I'm also hearing that. New beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings. Yes. King of Pentacles here with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, the Fool card and the Empress. Okay. A lot of air. I mean, a lot of Earth energy. I'm also feeling Pisces, uh, Taurus, Aries. Okay. So I feel like you are going to be working really hard this month, Leo, whether that's in a career, whether that's in a business, a dream, school, um, a family situation, a love connection here. I feel like you're going to take a risk. Maybe you've been like kind of in your head about it, like, should I, should I not? Should I go this way? Should I go that way? Should I move here? Should I move there? Should I pick this job? Should I pick this one? Should I pick this partner? Should I pick that? Should I pick that partner? Okay, it could be so many things. But regardless, like, I feel like you dig you know your intuition is telling you something here and i i see that whatever it is that you're going to be working towards or whoever it is, whoever it is you're going to be working with it's going to be very successful here okay for some of you if you're trying to reconcile i do see it's going to require work but i do feel like things will improve and there will be a passionate reunion or a passionate union all right guys let's see A lot of attraction here, guys. A lot of passion. Like, a lot. There's also love, you know. Don't get me wrong. But, all right. Let's see. What do, what do the angels have for Leo? What advice do you have for Leo, please? May 2021. Thank you. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Okay, everything has its gift. Okay, so expect some type of miracle and blessings. Maybe you weren't really thinking this would happen. Okay, maybe you're not even expecting this, Leo. But just remember, miracles and blessings. Okay, everything has its gift. Everything, whether it's good or bad. Okay, lessons. All right, let's see here. What's your angel number? What, what number do the angels have for you for May 2021? You may have already been seeing this number. If not, pay close attention. The angels are trying to tell you something. You may also Google it for, for their meaning here. Ooh, somebody else got this. Somebody else got this. I forgot who, but... Okay, the number two. You have great talent. You have great talent for finding solutions. Yep. 
Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. Okay? All right. So, Leo, yes, pay attention to this number, okay? I feel like you will find a solution to whatever it is you're trying to figure out here. Let's see. What's your crystal? If you don't have this crystal, it's okay. Feel free to screenshot it, write it down, look it up to see how it can benefit you this, this month. All right, peace. All right, crown chakra. Maybe you need to clear your mind, Leo, okay? Maybe, um, you you know, like I said with the Two of Swords here, you were having a difficult time figuring out which way you should go, being stuck at a crossroads, having the blindfold off, not knowing, not being able to see the situation clearly. So I feel like this situation could definitely bring you a lot, or this situation. This crystal can help you find peace and really open up that crown chakra to help you really, um, um, see things from uh i guess how do i say it like like um using your head okay i mean it's important you also want to use your heart but you know this can definitely help you find the answers that you are trying to find here leo if this does not resonate feel free to check your other placements okay um please like comment share and subscribe it would mean so much to me and i'll see you soon with your love reading bye bye